Drone attack left dead 10 civilians in Kabul, U.S. acknowledges. Top U.S. general offers apology and says it is unlikely that those dead in Afghanistan were associated with ISKP. General Frank McKenzie, the head of the U.S. Central Command, acknowledged that a U.S. drone raid in Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, late in August left dead 10 civilians, including children. McKenzie said on Friday that it was unlikely that those killed were associated with the Islamic State in Khorasan Province, ISKP, as originally claimed by the U.S. military. Having thoroughly reviewed the findings of the investigation and the supporting analysis by interagency partners, I am now convinced that as many as 10 civilians were tragically dead in that strike, McKenzie said. The U.S. general offered profound condolences to the families of the victims, stressing that the attack was taken with the earnest belief that it would prevent an imminent attack on the airport where American forces were evacuating people. It was a mistake, and I offer my sincere apology, McKenzie said. As a combatant commander, I am fully responsible for this strike and this tragic outcome. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin offered condolences for the attack's victims on Friday and announced a thorough review of the investigation into the attack that will also consider the need to alter strike authorities, procedures and processes in the future. We apologize, and we will endeavor to learn from this horrible mistake, Austin said in a statement. Pentagon acknowledges mistakes. The strike on August 29 came days after a suicide bombing near the airport, claimed by ISKP, left dead at least 175 people, including 13 U.S. service members. The U.S. pulled all of its forces from Afghanistan by the end of last month as the Taliban took over the country, capturing Kabul in mid-August. U.S. troops, which remained in control of the airport in Kabul as the Taliban took control of the capital, conducted a massive and chaotic evacuation operation to airlift American citizens, third country nationals and Afghan allies. American officials warned of credible threats to the airport by ISKP throughout the evacuation operation.